Having Apple Pay set up on your Apple Watch makes it so convenient for speedy payments anytime you're making contactless payments when you're out and about. Yes, it's easy enough to pay with your phone, but then you've got to take your phone out of your pocket, activate Face ID or fingerprint scan, and reach in with your phone. But a quick double tap of the side button on your Apple Watch will activate your card, you reach over to the terminal, and it's done. I'm surprised how many bar, cafe, and shop staff are still amazed when I do this. It's even cooler when you're wearing, say, a long sleeve shirt or jumper, and they don't even see your watch, yet the payment's been made. So in this video, I'll show you how to set it up on your Apple Watch. First of all, you'll need to have a bank card or two already set up on your iPhone. Click the video in the description below to learn how to do that. But in summary, open your wallet app, then click plus and select debit or credit card. Press continue, then scan your card. I don't have a new card to add today, so I'll skip this step, but you'll be prompted to put in your CVV card by your bank and then click next. Then just agree to the terms and conditions. That's it, your card is now in your wallet on your iPhone. Apple Pay on your iPhone can only be used when the phone is unlocked either via Face ID or fingerprint ID, so it's pretty secure. In a moment, we'll move on to how to get these cards to show up on your Apple Watch. But first, if you're getting something out of this content, all I ask is that you help me out by tapping the like button below and consider subscribing if you want to have more videos just like this sent to your inbox. Okay, Apple Pay on your Apple Watch. On your iPhone, open up the Apple Watch app, then scroll down to Wallet and Apple Pay. You can see here I already have two cards set up, but let's set up a third card. You can in fact add a new card directly in here with the same method as adding it directly into your iPhone as before by clicking the Add Card button. But it's likely that you'll want to have it set up on both devices, so I encourage you to set it up on your iPhone first. You can see that I have a MasterCard already set up on my iPhone, but it's not yet set up on my Apple Watch. So let's go ahead and do that. Tap the add button next to the card. You will then be prompted to put in the CVV number on the back of the card. I'll just blur this out here, but then just hit next. Then just agree to the bank's terms and conditions by hitting agree. It may take a moment or two for this process to go through and verify, but once done, you'll see the tick mark and then bang, your card is now ready to use on your Apple Watch. You can inspect the details of your card by tapping here where you can also adjust a few options and even check your transaction history. Now to remove a card, again just go to Wallet and Apple Pay, then select the card you want to remove. Then scroll down and just tap Remove Card. It's also going to remove your transaction history. So to go ahead and pay, just double tap the side button of your watch and if you have multiple cards, choose the one you want to use in this transaction and then just scan it over the contactless payment terminal. All done. On the topic of the Apple Watch, watch this video next to learn how to enable Apple Watch OS 8 Assistive Touch to use hand gestures to control your watch hands-free. I guarantee you'll learn something.